And we're back, fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiasts. New year means new knives. Mm -hmm. So we've got carries from CJRB, Kaiser, We in Best Tech. Ah, uh -huh. just Best Tech. No Best, best Tech knives. Right? No, right. just Best Tech knives. Awesome week planned for you guys, like every week. But first, Happy New Year to all of you guys. Yep, can't beat that. It's because of you that we get another season to the you, roster. You, you. So thank you, you Bay Cares. With that, we're on to our first knife, and that is the CJRB Pyrite. So, making a headway already in the knife community, this new button lock from CJRB comes in five options. So there's plain black, blackout, blue-gray, stainless, and a black micarta option. Though we currently only have the blackout and blue-gray in stock. Anyways, they're 7.3 inch overall. 3.11 inch AR RPM 9 steel blades. A mid range steel. Not budget, not super high end, but right in the middle. Can't beat it. Finish on the drop point blade comes in stone wash on this one and the plain black, but it's black stone wash on the blackout version. Plain edge blade with flat grind operates on a ceramic ball bearing pivot system and can be opened with either the dual sided thumb stud. Hold on. There we go. Or the button lock. Flip it like you mean it. I'm doing it Whoop, sideways. There's a shirt. Gonna... Handle is G10 and features a lanyard hole and a deep carry reversible pocket clip. This pocket knife also comes with a pouch and a box. Pouch in a box. Yep. So get this pyrite of a knife for just $46.84 from AtlanticKnife.com. Or this is no fool's gold of a deal. Find your own for just $46.84 at AK.com. So I have to say, this might be one of the best knives come out of CJRB since the Malia and the Feldspar. Uh -huh. I mean, I like the Rampart and the Barranca, but this one, this one is keeping with the button lock theme and it's fantastic price for all you get. That's not even funny <gasps> that you named all those knives. I mean, I'd be like, I liked it since the Mangrove and the Crag, but... You should go look up the Mangrove. No, it just popped my mind, actually. Oh, I did it. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Except well, I was serious. Well, I like this knife a lot. Great. Great. I like that it has a mid-range steel oh. with a low-end price. Oh. Y'all like that? Went high low. Yeah, you so know, mine's not funny. You know, yours was. When they go low, we get them high. We'll I get go mid-range. You'll have to push the um, wheelchair. You know, I haven't been a big fan of just the thumb stud opening, but it has gotten a lot um, better over the years. It's easier to open. It used to be more difficult. But I like this knife. I like the scale. It's nice and smooth. A little bit of texture. Give you some grip. Button lock. Can't beat it. A little bit of texture. Moving on. Go. Moving on to number two on the table. That is the Wee High Fin. Uh -huh. And yes, we do get compliments. On the High Fin. Yeah. So it comes in five options. Ready? Yeah. Blackout, Blue, Bronze, Tiger, and Damascus. Which is the one we have here today. Yay. All right. So let's carry a 6.98 inch overall with a 2.98 inch. You gotta be kidding me. Hacapella. Yeah. I'm sure that's wrong. Damasteel style blade. We can neither confirm nor deny that this is an actual trademarked Hacapella. Oh, we're doing the whole Velcro, Creighton, NATO. Damasteel, Damacore. Uh huh. We think it might be. We assume it's gonna be, but we'll let you know soon. Comes about 59 to 61 on the HRC scale with a hollow grind, plain edge, and a reverse tanto blade shape. The other models have CPM 20 CV, so can't go wrong there either. With either the black stone wash or the green stone wash. Of course, this one has no finish at all since it's the damn Hacapella damn it steel. It's a Hacapella. Yeah, it's all up in here. Okay, all feature 6A4V titanium handles, pocket clips, screws, and pivot caps. Each frame lock comes with a pouch, a box, cleaning cloth, and sticker designed by. Gavaco. Gavco. Gavco. Mm -hmm. These knives weigh only 3.49 ounces and are opened with dual-sided thumb studs. 
glides open. Mm -hmm. This is the only model to feature the Time Masket style pocket clip, however. Which is sporty. Yep. The clips on the other models match their handle color. So if it's a bronze, it's got a bronze clip. If it's blue, it's got the blue clip. All right. You guys get it. Finally, the hardware accents feature their own finish from the blue to bright gold. Snag a wee hyphen. Ah, ah, starting at just two forty six fifty from headlineknife.com. All right. All right. I forgot. How much is this one? That one, I think, is around the 400, 500 area, I think. Ah, uh, it's up there. Because it's got the dance. Okay, so we'll talk about them in general <sighs> then. Nice collector's knife. I would never use this thing. It is a good size, though. I will say that. Ooh, nice flippability. It could be a little bit bigger for use, but when you type with the 20 CV ones, you know, I can't see why you wouldn't get one at $246. I mean, that's right in the mid range of we nowadays. Mm -hmm. So, 20 CV for that price. Yep. Nice quality. Opens easy. Perfect every time. Can't beat that. I really like the blue and the tiger options. I do wish that they had a flipper tab for opening. Hmm. But I always like the spine cutout or like the divot for extra cutting control. Materials are high quality, but it's we, so they always are. Though I will have to look into what exactly the differences of Hakapella Dama Steel versus regular Dama Steel. I can't remember. It was some like two different versions. Is it just because it's trademarked? They have their own special making m machining. I don't know um, that one. I think they've used it on a few other their knives too. We has. I think they use it on the Subjugator, the Beacon. I even think the Wii Elementum. Yeah. So. What haven't they done with the Elementum? Well, that's true. There's a truck called the Elementum. Oh, is there? Yeah, I saw it going on the road the other day. It's funny. Mm -hmm. So either way, we hasn't lost its touch coming into the new year because this is a really nice knife. All right. With that, we're hitting the next carry, and that is the Best Tech Lingam Artis. Yep. Three options. Give Black, them Black, OD Green. And natural G10, Jewel Jade. We have the Jewel Jade one here today. So this new fixed blade from Best Tech Knives is nine inches overall with a five inch OS8 steel blade with satin finish on all options. Handle, of course, is G10 and either the black OD green or Jewel Jade. <laughs> no lanyard hole, but it does come with a black Kydex sheath, which you could add paracord or attach a belt. It's also the feature that we like so much. And that's the little sheathlet. Yes. Look at that. Industry term there. It is. It is. <laughs> Finally, this Elijah Isham design. I didn't pour it out on the desk, but I wanted to. It's just 137.56 from alandknife.com. All right. Well, what do you think, Willis? Is it too soon? I don't think it's too mm -hmm. soon. I think it's too soon either. He would find that funny well, if you like. Well, I got two trains of thought on this one. One, this is one of the thickest knife blades I have seen. I really like the style of the knife, and I like the knife itself. It's got a huge belly of a blade. It'd be great for using. Mm -hmm. But you're gonna take what I'm gonna say, aren't you? I think everybody in the audience is going to take what you say. I do think they could have lowered the screws a little on the handle, just a touch. They lowered the screws, all right. I need them a little more flush. You can catch clothing, <laughs> or maybe like if you put it in your pack, you can catch on that. I also think too that the price is too high there are a few it's big too high a, it was too high there's a what do few you mean? big Wouldn't fixed have been out of some blades that feature one os8 steel Yosemite. especially from cold steel sorry we should just let you, you that's all right you too sure? high it's too high no, I know it's, and they're about 89 to 100 the yeah. other ones are of course there are some folding knives that feature this steel the os8 they're like $35 at 60 On the other hand, there's a few Kislars that feature Ase, and they're close to the price of this. I think they're like $127. Mm. I just think in this case of this knife and this company, it's a little higher than I think it should be. Wow, that was so polite. It is. I mean, I, don't, I love Best Tech. They do great knives. I love all their, almost all of their knives. The malware, I've been carrying that. Come on. I just think on this one, it's just too high. I will say this about it's Best Tech. just too high. I like what they do, but sometimes, buddy, they swing and miss. Strike! And, like Codaline, we're moving on. Our next knife is the Kaiser Mini Paragon. So it took us a while to get this knife in stock, but it's here now and ready to take up the screen. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because this beast of a carry has two options, Blackout and OD Green. All right, my favorite options. Each one is 8.75 inch when fully deployed and has a three and a half inch 154 cm steel tanto blade with jimping. Oh. And. Jimp. Jimp, yeah. 
and either a stone wash or black wash, black stone wash finish. Handle on this one is OD Green Makata. Black Makata on the other. Both have tip up pocket clips. The blades and the liner locks are deployed with either the thumb hole, bam, or the gem flipper tab, bam. Designed by RS Knife Works, these folders are only one nineteen. From LineandKnife.com. Wow, cheaper than the last one. Yeah, free next day shipping, no tax, excluding VA. Wow, sell it, girl. I Woo. am. So I have to say, this is a big guy. Right all the way to Prague in this, okay? It's oh. going to get the 154 CM steel, and it's got the flipper tab. No lanyard hole, but I think I can overlook it, okay? I do think, in the case of this model, just, I'm, I'm being picky on this one. A little overboard with the detailing. Just a little, because they put it on the handle, and they put it on the back, and then they put it on the blade. Just... A little, just dial it back a little. That's it. And that's just my opinion. Everything else, I love it. What about you? I see what you did there. What? All the way to Prague. Yeah. I'm not running all the way to Prague. I can go with scoodle and doot and doot. Scoodle and doot and doot. Oh all right. That's a different one. I know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't do the pork part from the, you know, the guy and the chef. I would end up hurting something. This knife right here. You will see this later. I really like this knife. I like the size of the handle and the size of the blade, and I like that my thumb fits right there. If there were 137 of these made just a little bit different, I would get 137 of these. That's great. 154 CM, 119. It got me so excited because it's 20 bucks less than this one. Go figure. All right. With that next piece of gear, we cherish. But first. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring that bell. That way you're joined with AK and get notified about any new content or announcements. As well as entered into any future giveaways. Right now we were hosting the Vostead Raccoon Button Lock giveaway on Facebook, but the time has come for us to announce the winner. Oh, no. I know. I hate to see it go. Go Bye. ahead. So the person walking so away with a brand new Bosteed button lock raccoon with patch, pouch, cleaning cloth, the head, tin, and stickers. All that in one box, All huh? that, I know. Is Sam John Cola yeah. from Pensacola. Yes. Oh, I did though, didn't I? You told me Congratulations. Go ahead. If you're here watching, great. If not, we'll be announcing your name on Facebook. You should be here watching, but... Either way, you got to make sure to email sales at landknife.com to claim your knife. Yeah. For those who didn't procure a prize this time, there will be a lot more chances coming up next week. Yep. Because Land Knife is paired with Jason Perry Bladeworks again to bring you another month of JP giveaways. It's a new year with Jeep JP. Every week we'll be giving away a Made in the USA Jason Perry Fixed Blade Knife on either Facebook, Instagram, or AK's blog. Mm, something like that. Yeah. Details on how to enter will be dolomite out next week. So looking forward to those giveaways. The knives are awesome. Are they? They're sick, yes. Okay, back to the table with the We Cherith. Don't let me down now. This new frame lock comes in four options. Blackout, tiger black, purple, and blue. Mm -hmm. All options feature 2.98 inch CPM 20 CV steel drop point blades with jimping flat grinds, and plain edges. Finishes, of course, vary from silver bead blasted like to black stone washed. So, blades come to about 59.61 on the HRC scale and ride on cage ceramic ball bearings. Open with gym flipper stud, of course. Handles are titanium along with screws, tip-up, uh, reversible pocket clip, and the pivot cap. It cap in just under 7 inches overall. These folders are limited edition to just 310 to 210 pieces per model. Go ahead, see so you need to break it down for me. Blackout and Tiger Block are limited to 310. Purple is limited to 210, and blue is limited to 300. I know. I know. All come with those extras we know and love, at least for me. Mm. So, a pouch, cleaning cloth, and sticker. Splurge a little. Get a limited edition We Cherith starting at just 209. From AlienLife.com. <laughs> Quick tidbit any tiger mentioning means that the handle has a tiger striped flamed pattern. Yep, so they did it on one of no these. No actual tigers here. No, and one of these. Just Damn. so you know. Alright, what do you think of this? What do I think of this? What well, do you think of this? I think this would be a very popular knife. I'm not into it as much because of the smaller statue, let's say. Mm. You know, 6.98 is about 1.02. 
a little short for me. But other than that, I do like how they do their blades there. Their blades are always super clean. No writing on this one. Um, nice jimping. Can't beat that. You know, the whole pattern thing. You know. Well, they have the spiraling on the other one. I think I'm just a little plain. Mm. So. Well, I have to say, I'm a big fan of high quality, and I'm loving the tiger stripe anodization they're doing on them. Mm, now that one. I, I do like that a lot. Now, I have seen this handle design before. I mean, the square checkering was done on, like, the of Kaiser course. Lan. And a very nice, very popular Kaiser model. And then they have the exactly. spiral ones of these, which have been unused before, like the Wee Khan had exactly. it. I am going to take this Cherith <laughs> and stab you in a second. Quit belittling Wee I'm Sh not. Cherith, okay? Mm -hmm. I do think they could expand their handle designs a little, do something different. Bold. I think they thought this was bold. But I think it was bold. It's... They should have not went by. I mean, I like it. It's a nice thing. It's okay. I'm not crazy about this one. I like the it's spiraling style. and the tiger stripe better. doesn't mean I don't like it. I do like it. Especially the tiger one. That's like my favorite one. Yes. Now, see, I'm all it's in nice. the tiger one, too. All right. So, guess what? What? That's brought us to our final knife of the week. Always. The always. Kaiser Nebula. Yep. Did we save the best for last? I think we did, because this one is my favorite on the table this week. Is it? Yes, it is. Wow. So very, very close call with the, the Wii Mini Paragon. That is the Kaiser Wii. Mini Paragon. What did I say? Wii. It's Kaiser. It's Kaiser. Look Mini at that. Paragon. Kaiser's got two there. Yep. Wii's got two expensive ones. I don't know. It's going to be a tough pick this week. Okay, go ahead. So the Kaiser Nebula comes in two options, fat carbon fiber and marble carbon fiber. It's seven inch overall with a three inch black stone wash L Max steel blade. I'm gonna let that marinate. No jimping. No jimping. Oh well. Yeah. Plain edge and flat grind. Handle on this one is fat carbon fiber with black tip up pocket clip. Drop point blade is deployed with either the dual sided thumb studs or can you guys guess it? Am I allowed to? Button lock. <gasps> See, blow KO de botones. Lastly, it comes with a pouch, cleaning cloth, and box, starting at just 180 from AtlanticKnife.com. Get that. All right. All I have to say is, wow, the handle can carry this knife all on its own, but then they went and slapped on some Elmac steel. It's just, wow, so out of character for Kaiser to use Elmac. I think they did it on like one other knife, more recent as well. Like the Comorant, I think. Probably. And the, the Drop Bear, I think. One mm -hmm. of them. So I just, this carbon fiber is amazing. I love it. Okay? No flipper tab or lanyard hole. And yet, I find myself wanting it. What about you, C? Well, there's been a resurgence of LMAX. It was a nice. Super Steel people wanted years ago. About six, eight years ago. And ZT Look and uh, Fall Niven. And yes. you, know, you really didn't see it for a while. Mm -hmm. Now... It's back. A lot of people are trying to use it. Uh, Fall Niven's been using it a couple years now. So I'm into it. I like it. I mean, it's a little harder to sharpen. But, you know, I mean, are you really going to be wearing this knife out? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. It kind of reminds me of the Max Ace knife a little bit with its pattern there. Make some jewelry out of it. But, I mean, it's nice. And for a folding knife, mm -hmm. I think I'd probably pick one up. I'd go this one over the others. The other one? Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, the button lock, too. you know, the button lock is starting to... No. There's a lot of button locks. Well, that's because it's button lock year. <laughs> the year of the button lock. Yeah. I thought it was the rabbit. I don't no. know. But this thing is pretty easy to operate. So, I don't know. I mean, I really like it. I haven't seen the other ones. So, I don't know what to say about them. All I know is mating. I mean, it's sharp and not just the blade, but the design and the materials. Mm -hmm. All of it says, stop Look at me. It does. I can relate. <laughs> Go ahead. Wow. I know. Whew. Well, you guys know the drill. That was our last knife. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring that bell. Also, going to be notified when we drop new stuff and be entered into giveaways. Don't forget, we're starting a whole other month of USA Made JP Knife giveaways next week. So, make sure to catch those episodes and enter yourself. Hopefully, be more humble. We're also on social media sites like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, Instagram, and Wumble. Multi is so last year. Where we're always posting videos, photos, giveaways, and more.
And finally, don't forget our podcast. Catch yourself up on all five episodes. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because we'll be releasing more very soon, I hope. Think out of nothing. Yeah, with that. <laughs> I'm C, and this is... Sure. And we're out of here. Signing off. I thought of a new one. What? We're out of here. Oh, thought you would do that. Firepower. No, I was yeah. never gonna do that ever. What's that? That muscle building move that guys? Mm. Yeah, you're you're trying to like buff out your muscles when you do that, right? Buff out your muscles. Yeah, I don't know what it's called. Yeah. Where you, like, are you talking about? I'm not sure how old school you're going here. Like Hulkamania or I something? I think so. Is that mm, what? The Hulkster comes for you. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So really are you, sure. what are you doing there? Are you trying to like... I think that's called flexing. Flexing. Yeah. Flexing. I saw one of those going down the road okay. too. Well, I, I have no difference. I'll be flexing. I'll be like flex. Flex. I'm oh, like, I am flexing. So you can't tell. You're not. Yeah. See, I don't like so. my women. To, women don't need to be flexing. I don't know. I think yeah. we, need, we need to okay. be flexing. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you, did you Washing and cooking, cooking, woman. Get oh, in that room. God. Wow. I'm sure your wife will appreciate that, right? My wife wears sweatpants all day long. And she cooks, too, all day long of it. Yeah. No? I think she cooked in December. Of, la of last year? <laughs> the year before last. One of those, yeah. Oh, yeah. So she eats. Does she? Every day. Oh, my gosh. We have something in common. I know. Look at her.